Dangerous sidewalks. Here in Los Angeles, they're considered some of the worst in the country, causing thousands of injuries. And tonight, how the city is avoiding fixing them, and worse, avoiding paying for injuries when you fall and hurt yourself. And think about it, even if you don't hurt yourself seriously, who hasn't tripped or done yeah. some sort of a face plant? Our investigative reporter Joel Grover is here right now with his exclusive investigation. Joel. Chuck and Colleen, when you fall on a bad sidewalk like this and break a bone or tear a muscle, by law the city is often supposed to pay for your injuries. But in our investigation, we found the city almost always denies responsibility, allowing claims for serious sidewalk injuries to fall through the cracks. That's absolutely terrible. Look at the sorry state of LA sidewalks. This one is so buckled, I can get my whole arm under it. This one is so cracked, I can hide my cell phone in it. And this one is good for doing tricks. That's one thing they're good for, is to helping you catch air. Lori Meyer wasn't laughing last May when she fell on that crack. I just pitched forward. And was rushed to the ER with a fractured leg. I was screaming. People have broken noses, shattered kneecaps, and bloodied their faces on LA sidewalks that were supposed to have been fixed. The law says the city is often liable for your injuries if a sidewalk was in a dangerous condition and they didn't fix it. It's been painful and exhausting. The city knew all about Lori Meyer's buckled sidewalk for years. It's right in front of a city building, right next door to a city fire station, and Google Street View shows the sidewalk was buckling back in 2007, getting worse in 2011. And in 2012, firefighters filed this complaint, but the sidewalk still wasn't fixed. If they know about it and they don't fix it and somebody gets injured, absolutely they need to pay a claim. So Lori Meyer filed a claim for her medical expenses four months ago, and we followed it through the system. Records we got from the city attorney say they denied her claim on October 22nd. Is it possible the city has denied claims that really are legitimate? Of course it's possible. City attorney Mike Fewer says he doesn't want to pay claims if the city isn't really responsible. But it's also possible that someone has tripped and fallen because they've been texting while they've been walking. In fact, of the roughly 1,500 sidewalk injury claims filed in the last five years, the city attorney initially paid only 65 of them, about 4%. Almost all were denied. And get this, the city doesn't even tell you your claim has been denied. They probably figure, well, we'll just keep quiet and, you know, she'll forget about it, she'll move on, and then nothing will come of it and we don't have to pay any money. Doesn't the city owe people the courtesy of saying your claim has been denied for whatever reason? I think it's a great question. I might decide that it's appropriate for the city to change its past practice. So if you get hurt on a bad sidewalk like this one that's lifted up 12 inches off the ground, what does it take to get the city to take responsibility? I was down like this on the ground. Ludmilla Klett fell and broke her hip. It sounded like On this cracked Van Nuys sidewalk, she sued the city and they settled for $425,000. They tried to avoid paying. They try to avoid to take the responsibility. The city isn't sure how it'll come up with the $1.5 billion it says it needs to fix all the bad sidewalks. So for now, injured citizens will have to deal with a claim system that some think is as broken as the sidewalks. These are real people with real injuries and they feel crummy about the way their city is treating them. I understand what they think about the process and there may be ways we can improve that process.